Hey people, Struggling School. In this video, we're going to focus on mini roundabouts and more advanced roundabouts. A mini roundabout is designed to give traffic a chance to get from a more minor road to a more major road. There's three different kinds. There's a dome shape, a red brick, or a flat or dot roundabout. On a dome or red brick roundabout, you do your best to drive around it as best you can. On a flat roundabout, you drive directly over them, because if you don't, you're going to get too close to a path or too near to a traffic island. So you drive directly over a flat roundabout. So I'm just going to use this diagram to show you the main differences of mini roundabouts. You still have to yield the traffic from the right, so if you're taking the first exit, you still indicate left, position it tight, look to the right. If it's clear, you continue. If you're going straight through a mini roundabout, you don't have to indicate on approach or to go straight through. So you don't have to indicate left here to exit a mini roundabout because they're so small. If you're going to take the third exit to the right or turn right or mini roundabout, again, you still indicate right, still yield to any traffic from the right. Once it's clear, drive around it best you can, but you don't have to indicate left here to to exit because this will affect your steering because there's so much steering involved. So I'm approaching a roundabout here, it's a slight dome shape. I'm going to take the second exit to the right, so I indicate right, I'm in second gear. I have to yield the traffic from the right, but I also have to make look to the left to make sure traffic will stop for me as well. So look right, look left, clear, drive half over but half around the roundabout because if I don't do that, I'm going to hit the path or the pole. So I need to do that on that roundabout. Then I'm going to go first exit left here, so taking my resident signal, clear to my right, looking down the road to the left because the road is very narrow seeing what might be down there. At the next roundabout, I'm going to take the second exit to the right, which will be similar to one I just, just did, but this time I can't see to the right, so I'm going to roll this in the first, creep and crawl, take right and left, all the way away with that car, clear to my right, so I'm just going to drive over the roundabout again, because if I don't, I'm going to hit the path. So there, I didn't have to yield to the car from the left, I just had to yield the traffic from the right. Okay, I'm approaching a mini roundabout, this, it's a red brick, I'm just going to go straight through the first exit. So I don't have to indicate, but I'm just going to brake gently and must look to the right to yield to a car that comes from my right who's turning right. But it's clear. So if I don't look, I'm going to fail the test and observation on a roundabout. In this section, we're going to focus on more advanced roundabouts. So this is a diagram of a more advanced roundabout. We've got two lanes on approach, two lanes on the roundabout, and then two lanes exiting the roundabout. For the driving test, you must approach the roundabout to go straight through in the left-hand lane. Once it's clear to the right, keep tight to the left, all the way around, check your mirrors and indicate left. As you exit the roundabout, there may be a bus lane ahead of you. That means you need to move safely into the right-hand lane, take an observation and being aware of traffic that could be beside you in this lane. Reporting a roundabout ahead, there's two lanes leading through. It's quite a big advanced roundabout. I'm going straight through the second exit. I'm in third gear, I'm in the left-hand lane. I'm gonna approach in second, looking to the right. Got a clear gap to come now, bit of gas. Stay close to the left, check my mirrors and indicate left. Bit of, bit of gas, I'm going to exit in the left. As I do, I'm watching my rear and my right mirror, signal to the right, check my mirrors and make sure I'm moving to this lane safely and watch what traffic that could be exiting in the right-hand lane as I do. In this section, we're going to focus on a different kind of roundabout. It only has two exits, you can either go left or right. You take the first exit as if it's the first exit on a normal roundabout, like this one here. But this time, because we're turning around to the right, you approach it like it's the third exit on this roundabout here. It's exactly the same. So approaching a roundabout ahead, it's only got two exits, I can only go left or right. So take a look at the third exit, I'm indicating right, deal to the traffic from the right, so you have to see where the, this traffic is going. Watch the angle of the wheels, that car didn't indicate. See where the taxi's going, he is indicating. So I'm going round to the right, so this isn't the 12 o'clock roundabout. Because I'm going round to the right, or do check me where it's in signal, because it's not a mini roundabout to exit the roundabout as well. So that's the example of where I'm taking the second exit, but to the right, but I take it like the third exit. 